Hello everyone. I'm in a river today and I wanted to answer some question that someone asked me if it's only a female spirit, if it's only female spirit that governs every water body like river, like river, lakes, ocean, sea. <laughs> so since I'm here, I remembered, okay, let me answer it here while I'm with the water spirits. <laughs> so anyway, it's not only mothers of waters that, that is in charge, like that leads, I don't even know the name that I can, I can say. That, that governs the water bodies. Sometimes it can be a male spirit. Sometimes it's female. So if you are a spiritualist, it's, you, you, it's important for you to do spiritual consultation to find out the gender of the spirit in charge of the water or the river that you do your sacrifice. So you don't always call mothers of water all the time when it's a male spirit. Like the river that I am in my city is a man, a male spirit that governs the river here. And that male spirit is one of my spiritual husbands. I'm here to show you guys the water in this river. This river here is a man that is governing this. And this is just some part of the river. Because I'm in the very private side that people are not swimming and doing something. So I can have my privacy. As I came to do rituals. So if you come to a river. You will just see it like water bodies. Hmm? You see our river is very clean. <laughs> Our river is very, very clear. We have people that come to play the river banks. So anyway, in this river, for example, is in diaspora. <laughs> Somewhere in diaspora, this river here. And I can call upon my spirits from my ancestral spirit, my spiritual team from Africa, including the spirits here, because my spiritual husband is the one that governs the river, the white one. You know, so in this river is a man that is governing this river, and they also have other people that works under him. <laughs> so that's why I said I'm going to teach about archangels. When I have time, I'll teach, teach about the archangels. But right now, let's teach about this river. So the ones, if it's a woman that is leading the river, the woman, the mothers of water leading the river, will have male and female spirits working under her. If it's a man that is walking, leading the river or the sea or the ocean, the person will have different gender working under him or her. They are the one that leads. And the many three spirits that leads river, ocean, water bodies, most of them, majority of them are men. <laughs> Male, because they have the masculine energy to fight, to protect. Women, our energy, our feminine energy, we can also fight and protect depending on the ability of the woman. <laughs> You're coming. <laughs> With, depending on the ability of the women, <laughs> you know, so it depends on the woman. Otherwise, men, men, men. That's why in my ancestral line we have a lot of male spirit, warrior spirits. We also have the women one, the ones that that works with snakes. We have different types of uh, water spirits. So yeah, so when you go to water, you know there are different types of spirits living inside the water. <laughs> Yeah, different types of spirit, good, bad, you know, any type of spirit is in, in this water. But majority of water spirit have duality. They can do good and they can do bad. It depends on what you're, you're activating, you know. So yeah, when you go to water, it's not only the mothers of water. You know why people always say mothers of water? Because water itself, water body is a feminine energy. <laughs> Every water body you see, whether the one in the sky that brings rain, whether the one beneath the surface of the earth, they are feminine energy. The part creator God from water dimension is a woman. <laughs> the same with earth, the sun that you're, you're walking hmm? is a feminine energy. The earth, mother earth, that's why we call her mother earth. You know, but there are spirits walking under the mother earth. That is the, that are the, those are the archangels. There are spirits walking under the mothers of waters. <laughs> the supreme, the supreme one are the path creator ones, okay? I will teach about that later. So anyway, if you go to a river or any lake, any water, but just know that there are a lot of men there. And it's not only women that, that lead that particular territorial spirit. Hmm? The territorial spirit that you are going could be a man that is leading. <laughs> Male spirits, they are powerful, but women's spirit, they have that feminine energy to procreate, to produce, to, to bring, 
you know how our feminine energy how powerful it is to bring to bring life to destroy to to bring wealth to give children to like if you want to bear children women is one you should go to you know love men they also do love that's why water spirit they always have relationship with physical human beings <laughs> you know sexuality women you know all those that they have their different abilities all spirits in the water don't have the same ability they all have different different abilities you know so yeah so i hope i've answered your question that it's not only women it's not only female spirit that leads to water why people are always calling the water because mothers of water is because the water body itself is female spirit but the female spirit is not the one that does the assignment because she's the boss you know, <laughs> she has people that works under her and that person can be a man or a woman. So when you call upon her, she's not coming directly to come and do the work for you. She's going to send spirits working on.